Hello everyone and welcome to a Halloween video, um, which today we are doing a Halloween makeup video of a pumpkin. So I'm going to put my inspirational sort of picture here, like a little cutaway. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that today, so I thought I'd just get on with it and show you how to create this look by yourself. You're going to definitely need an orange face paint, I'm using my orange snazzery one. Um, a white face paint, my white snazzery sna <laughs> one, and my black snazzery one too. But let's get on with it, I'm going to tie my hair up and let's go. First what we're going to do is just put a bit of an orange, like a, we're going to outline where we want the thing to cut away and where we want the orange. So I'm going to keep this part of my face normal and this part of my face is going to be covered in pumpkin stuff. Eye is sort of like this quarter of my face is sort of done makeup wise. I mean, I'm going to be doing a, like an orange, orangey, burgundy sort of eye with it, and then this is going to be the um, orange section. But please, I don't know why my face is so puffy right now. Let's just pretend it's not. First, what I'm going to do is pop a base of the orange onto my so. This is the orange face paint very loosely put on my face. I'm putting it on the nose even though the nose will be black, but it's just as a base. Bear in mind this is the first time I'm actually doing this look. I've done a few different ones but I haven't done this one yet. So this is interesting to see how it turns out. I'm sort of sure if it's easy or not. I feel a bit... I feel like an um like a real life Umpa Loompa now. I mean I'm basically an Umpa Loompa height anyway, so... Oh my god, oh, look, it's made my thumb all yellow. Ooh. But now we need to get rid of my eyebrow. I would have done this first, but I kind of forgot. So I'm just going over it with a the Revolution foundation thing. Um, and then going over the top of that is my Revolution concealer in the shade C2. I'm just going to let that dry little bit before I powder it and I'm just powdering it with the bacon finish by Revolution as well this is not sponsored by Revolution by the way <laughs> and then we're gonna put a proper fat layer using a, a brush would be preferable than a thing um, and then while that dries I'm going to do the black outline of the uh, pumpkin. Now I'm just using a Revolution uh, line and flick. I'm going to be using the coal side which is this side of it. So I'm just gonna do like so. So while I do that I'm gonna quickly whiz the line and then show you guys. So the line is very very basic. It's just so I can start colouring the orange in completely and like this bit it went a little bit wrong but that's just to show like the difference. So let's start popping in the orange a little bit more darker now and filling over my eyebrow as well. Right, so we're orange now. I don't want to be this orange, I want to tone it down a lot. So I went on a bit of highlighting, like whiting and all that jazz. So we're going to make the orange a little bit lighter. So I'm sort of doing it in stripes like an actual pumpkin would have. Can you see what I mean? Probably not. I mean, my eyes going to be dark anyway, but I don't want to make it too orange. So, hence why I'm adding in a bit of white to make a sort of yellowish tone. So, that's added a lot more sort of, not texture, that's not the right word, but like pumpkin-y vibes, I feel. <laughs> so, at the moment, I'm just um, redoing the line a little bit more. Um, defined as such. So where I've highlighted, I'm just going to be putting a very faint line using the coal pencil just to reiterate where the light and dark sections are like a pumpkin. Okay, and now we are just going to blend that in. Um, but we're going to do it with a slightly damp brush like so. It just sort of smokes it out a bit. And just do that with all the lines you've created. Reiterate the um, colours all the way through and make it a bit more um, sort of real life like. So I've literally, um, my camera died, I didn't realise, so I've just highlighted bits using a bit of a white and orange mixed together 
redone the line a little bit more clearly with a black liner instead. Done um, a bit simple, a very simple orange sort of eye and just tidied up this so it looks a bit more normal um, and done a cat eye on the end and now we're just going to do the black outlines for the eye, the nose and the mouth. So very simply I have done the triangle, the nose and the mouth of which we're all going to put complete black colours in. So I'm just going to be using Snazaroo black face paint um, with a uh, brush to put in through. So it's all coloured in now and I'm quite happy. I just highlighted a little bit more as well in the areas. The mouth is alright, I'm not amazed by it but for the first time I'm not too like, it's not awful. Now I'm just going to add um, final touches so like eyelashes, put my hair down. <laughs> So, that's it done. Um, this is the final look and yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. Not too bad for first go, I think. And I'm not brilliant at makeup, I'm not professional or anything. This is all very amateur for me. But yeah, I really like the effect of the like nice bit here and the contrast. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next. Hope you enjoyed it and give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, see you soon, bye.